welcome to Seahorse Science. I am Miss Gilmore, your science teacher here at Silver Sands, and every week we'd like to bring you a little bit of science that you can do with your kids and your family in your own home. And since you guys can't come here and meet us, we're going to spotlight one staff member during these science lessons, and you'll get to meet them. So this week we have Sarah Wright. Hi everybody, I'm a paraprofessional here at Silver Sands. This is my fourth year, and this year I'm working with online students. Sarah was also our support staff of the year last year, so congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so today we're going to talk about air. I love air. I love the power of air. I love that air is so amazing, and we kind of take it for granted because we don't really see it. So my first question, and I ask all our seahorse scientists, is this jar empty or full? Well, it's empty. No, Sarah, it's actually full of air. So even if your glass is only full this much of water, it's actually always full because the other half is full of air. Oh, okay. so that could be your positive I twist. I like that. <laughs> that does have a good positive twist. Be positive. Okay, okay, so I have a jar, and you can see kind of how the hole is right there. It's not that big. What we're going to do is we're going to put that balloon on top of that jar. Okay. Now, is it going to go in the jar, Sarah? Uh, I don't think so. Not without popping. It's too big. It's too big. So, the air pressure in the bottle is the same as the air above the balloon. So nothing's happening, it's all equal. So what we need to do, we need to change the air pressure inside the bottle. We definitely need to wear our safety glasses. Would you like the red ones? Thank you. You're welcome. Outfit. Safety glasses so we can be safe. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna take, I'm using a half a piece of um, coffee filter, but you can other, use other types of uh, paper in your home and you just want to use about a half a piece. Okay. And she's going to roll this up loosely and then she's going to take the matches and light it on fire and this is where you definitely need your adult supervision and that is why I have Sarah. Okay. Because you are my adult supervision. I feel important. Yep. So light it on fire, make sure it's burning a little bit. You're going to put it all, make sure it gets all the way down to the bottom and then you're gonna put your balloon right on top of it. Okay. And if you watch and listen carefully, you'll see the balloon wiggling. That's good. Oh. And that, oh. there oh, it is. Yes. There it is. Oh, I did it. High five. I did. Okay, that was really horrible. High five. <laughs> okay, air five. So, did I you guys see that. the balloon <laughs> wiggling? That was the air coming out of the jar and no air was coming back in. So that took most wow. of the air out of the jar because the heat from the flame heated up the air, pushed it up and out, and air takes up space, right? So now we have more space in our jar, the pressure is lower, and the higher pressure up here, push that balloon all the way down in the jar. I am shook, I did not expect that to happen. And it really is in the jar. It's really in the jar. That's like so, a magic trick almost. That was kind of cool, wasn't it? It was. I'm still shaking. I was, it just kind of shocks you when it all goes like. I really didn't see that. That was a genuine reaction, folks. Okay, so now we're gonna film it in slow motion. And we're gonna try it again so we can watch the air as it heats up in the bottle and the air rises. Watch the balloon. You can also hear it shaking as the balloon, as the air goes past the balloon. down here higher pressure up here pushes that balloon down in there do this safely at your home Sarah thank you so much that was great you're you're a great assistant scientist you're welcome <laughs> 